Most people in life are very conscientious when it comes to anyone sleeping. What we know in the world of martial arts or any other type of industry is what is and isn't self-protection. Self-protection is the ability for someone to be able to say no to abuse. Self-preservation is a type of instruction that I used to do. What that was was me teaching both men and women in a health club how to preserve their lives. We would first talk about how you would stand in a community. We would second talk about the things you should and shouldn't talk about. We would third talk about how you would drive yourself home in different routes so that people could not follow you. What I have seen quite a lot of is the foreign students playing follow games with independent the wealthy or sophisticated or socially appropriate, how should I say it, independent business owners. And that is a risk to America. What I'm meaning is that if you're a person who has a small shop in America, you want to be careful of when you're loading things and unloading things and putting things in your vehicle. Because if you're alone at night, someone can come up behind you in a motorcycle or in a car and follow you home and then voila they'll approach you they'll talk to you they'll pretend you're lost and the next thing you know your life is cost you see we have to be paying attention to what these students are now coming here and staying here to do but when a man wakes up in the morning with an Atlantic service truck practically driving on top of him on a sidewalk he's not sure what to do is not true he does know what the law is the law of kind of social responsibility says, why the fuck are you driving that truck right on top of that individual? Why the fuck is your vehicle right there to wake someone up like a bastard of an early morning position? All I see of that company that I've been here observing for some time is that the one of their people is totally abusing human capital. What I mean is that he is the human capital of that company, but he is not doing his job. I have no fucking clue about their positions and why they do things, but here's what I see. Total inefficiency. The guy drives up and down the main drag of the parking lot. He barely does it in a way that looks like he's mowing the lawn, meaning he barely does it in a way that he's really cleaning stuff up. He also drives so fucking fast, it's hardly impressive. Meaning, how do those brushes on the bottom of that little fucking dump truck pick anything up? And then he drives around in circles that barely do a fucking thing in the parking lot. When what he should be doing is doing a very methodical stroke of the entire driveway and sweep himself into the parking lot. Maybe he can spot the trash, which is great because we need it picked up. But the reality is that after about 15, 20 minutes, if he were lucky of him driving through the lot, he drives off completely and goes someplace else. Where does he go? Does he go park behind a building and get on his cell phone, which we've seen him do, where he drives in and he stops? But what the fuck is he doing on behalf of that company is what any person who's sort of a, well, what should we call it? secret chopper related to his parentage related to his owner thinking you see most people would try to finish one job before they drive off to another job unless of course he's two timing his company or his company's assigned in one place but he's gone and gotten a, so a second job elsewhere so that he can make the money directly what he could be doing while nobody's in the lot is going through first and picking up all the garbage out of the garbage can and then he could work himself in that driveway very methodically with three strokes practically with the size of his vehicle and then move himself into the parking lot and keep the sweeping in a very methodical way into each lot and then put himself out to the next job. But instead what this guy does is he drives in the lot, drives up and down the driveway, then he does stupid little circles in each little parking lot like that's going to matter to people who are trying to not step in the various things that people leave in a lot. Then he leaves, and he's gone for hours, or 30 minutes to an hour. It's hard to say, even till sun comes up. 
Then he comes back while people are starting to come to work, and he might pick up the trash. Then he eventually goes and parks in the lot where there's a bunch of cars coming into the lot as the employees for the hourly wages come in to their job. And then he takes one of these little pickup things and a bucket, and he walks around the lot and picks the rest of the shit up. But my question is, why is he so over-focused on someone who is hanging out in the area of the shelter to get out of the rain that's going on pretty much all the time right now during the summer months? You see, this is what we can't understand. Where the fuck did this man learn to do his job? And why the hell is that company spending so much time or so much money invested in a guy who's so inefficient that he is doing what? You see, if a company is trying to be efficient on behalf of a city or on behalf of a, a uh, what you say, a manufacturing company, or better yet, on behalf of a retail establishment that is really owned by somebody else, you try and do everything one by one. And even if you're responsible for the whole fucking street, meaning every sophisticated parking lot for every international and national company that rents in these buildings, you'd want to look like you were doing something really thoughtful. You'd want to really look like you're doing something efficient. And you'd also want to look like you're not trying to harm someone who has nothing to do with your position.